Pro Cruise install. So you have your wheel fully disassembled and your four wheel nuts off to the side. We take the bottom half of our Pro Cruise. We install the four bolts. We install the four included aluminum spacers. Now you want to make sure the valve stem is pointing down and away. And then we install these bolts through their respective holes. Also you want to make sure that all the bolts are all the way through and not caught up on this, this edge of the Pro Cruise. So they're all sitting nice and flush in there. I'm going to flip the wheel over and start attaching the wheel nuts that you saved from your uh, original wheel. Just get these started here. So you just want to get these finger tight to start with. Alright, now that we have those finger tight, I'm going to turn the wheel over. Now we already installed our sprocket onto the freewheel, and it's very important that the nylock nuts are mounted on the side where the freewheel has writing on it. And this side with the nylock nuts facing up and with the writing on the inner ring of the freewheel facing up, that is the direction that it goes onto the freewheel or onto the pro that's how the freewheel goes onto the pro cruise with the wording facing up at you and the nylock nuts facing up at you now to start this you want to slowly rotate in a clockwise direction if you feel any resistance you want to stop and go back so that you don't cross thread but just take your time go slow and steady and you'll feel it when it gets on there. So now we have the, the freewheel and sprocket mounted on. What we want to do is give it a little extra to tighten it down so that everything's locked in place. And then what we want to do, we recommend taking your axle that you had originally and if you go in through the back side of the wheel you want to make sure that you can get the center wheel spacer lined up. So put that bolt through. And then a helpful trick, now that that's through, we know that the center spacer is aligned. And we can give this a little more of a tighten down. At this point you can remove the axle bolt, you won't be needing it anymore. And what we recommend to help center the Pro Cruise onto your wheel is with these nuts still just at a finger tight, you want to grasp the sprocket of the freewheel and rotate the wheel. This will allow the freewheel and Pro Cruise to center themselves around the axle. What we find is if we let this come to a stop, we grab it from the underside, pinch from the top, and flip over. And then when we are tightening these bolts, we are squeezing the two halves together and only tightening a little bit at a time on each bolt.
And you can repeat each process as you add a little more tightness to each bolt, giving a shake every now and then, letting it come to a complete stop, going underneath, squeezing, flipping, and then tightening while squeezing. Now once you have those pretty tight, you can just get them finished up tight. At this point, the Pro Cruise shouldn't move. You just want to make sure that the wheel is bolted securely together. And everything should still maintain being centered and lined up. At this point, we also went ahead and um, pre-attached our rotor onto our uh, brake side of the Pro Cruise. That is just achieved using uh, an Allen wrench and uh, loosening and then reattaching the provided bolts. Now to attach the brake, this threads on opposite of normal threading. So to thread it on, we're going to thread it in a clockwise or counterclockwise, excuse me. So to install the brake half, you rotate counterclockwise. So we're going to start again going very slowly. If you feel any resistance, just stop, rotate the opposite way, and start over again. But this is starting very smoothly, not feeling any resistance. So I'll thread it all the way down. Again, once you get it on, you want to fully tighten it. And at this point, you have a completed wheel. Everything is mounted on. Your freewheel works. Your brake is mounted. All that's left is to reattach this to your go-ped, inflate your tire, and have some fun.